Welcome to YouTube channel Scientific Underscore Math. In this lecture, we will discuss types of matrices with definition, properties, and example. Learning objectives: diagonally dominant matrix. First, we will discuss the diagonally dominant matrix definition, properties, and we will also solve one example related to the diagonally dominant matrix in this lecture so let's start diagonally dominant matrix a square matrix is said to be diagonally dominant if for every row of the matrix the magnitude of the diagonal entry okay in a row is larger than are equal to the sum of the magnitudes of the all the other or non zero diagonal entries in that row okay but for example we have a matrix we have a square matrix that is n cross n matrix and this one is the first row second row and this one is the nth row okay so here we have a discuss uh, the magnitude of the diagonal entry okay the magnitude of the diagonal entry this one is the diagonal entry in a row is larger than or equal to the sum of the magnitude of all other tag all other non diagonal entries in that row these are the non diagonal entries in that row means this the magnitude of a11 will be greater than or equal to okay uh, the sum of all other entries in a row okay so for example uh, here we can see that i represent the a row number of rows and this will j represent the column okay for first row and all columns we can see that the magnitude of the diagonal entry is greater than or equal to larger than or equal to this magnitude of sum of magnitude of all other entries in that row okay for, uh, similarly for second row and all columns uh, the diagonal entry should be larger or uh, equal to the sum of all uh, other non diagonal entries of the matrix and similarly for nth row and uh, uh, this we can see that uh, the this one is the diagonal entry is larger than or equal to greater than or equal to the sum of of diagonal entries of that row okay so in general we can write as the this this will represent the uh, diagonal entries should be greater than or equal to the sum of of diagonal uh, sum of uh, magnitude of of diagonal entries for all i okay where a i j denotes the entries in the ith row and the jth column okay so a uh, matrix is strictly diagonally dominant when the diag magnitude of the diagonal entries is only greater than not equal to like that when greater than the magnitude of sum of of all of diagonal entries then the matrix is strictly diagonally dominant okay now we will uh, solve example related to the diagonally dominant matrix and we will see the matrix is diagonally dominant or not okay so we have example find if the matrix is diagonally dominant okay now we, uh, we here we can see that this one is the square matrix of order uh, 3 cross 3 and uh, okay so here uh, the number of rows is 3 that is number of rows and number of column is 3 okay so for first row and all columns we can write as this one this will represent the uh, diagonal entry and uh, is greater than or equal to 
this uh, magnitude of sum of, of diagonal entry this will uh, this is equal to 4 uh, magnitude of 4 greater than or equal to magnitude of 2 and uh, plus magnitude of 1 okay so here we can see that 4 is greater than or equal to 2 plus 1 that is 4 greater than 3 okay for second row and all columns here we have the uh, diagonal entry this is the minus 4 and uh, okay so magnitude of minus 4 is 4 that is greater than or equal to magnitude of 1 plus 2 and uh, this will we can see that this is greater than okay 4 is greater than 3 and for third row for i is equal to 3 okay for i is equal to 3 and for all columns we have the diagonal entry is this one okay so we can see that 5 is greater than or equal to magnitude of minus 1 is 1 and plus 2 and 5 is greater than 5 is 5 is greater than 3 okay so hence the matrix is strictly diagonally dominant because all the magnitude of all the diagonal entries is greater than not equal to of all here 4 is greater than 3 here again 4 is greater than 3 and 5 is greater than 3 so we can see that all are all diagonal entries are greater not equal so this means the given matrix is strictly diagonally dominant strictly diagonally dominant okay so now we will uh, discuss the uh, properties of the a uh, diagonally dominant matrix uh, and uh, here we have some properties of the diagonally dominant matrix a uh, strictly diagonally dominant matrix is non singular means the determinant of the matrix will not be equal to zero the matrix has unique solution the matrix has invertible the matrix is invertible means uh, always inverse exists because the matrix is uh, non-singular so this means the inverse of the matrix will always exist a gauze elimination method can apply directly okay so uh, this means we uh, uh, without pivoting we can apply the gauze elimination method because the matrix is strictly diagonal dominant and the other iterative methods jacobi gauze Seidel, and swr for solving a linear system uh, converge if the matrix is strictly diagonally uh, dominant or the irreducible okay so this one is the uh, diagonally dominant matrix and uh, in the next lecture we will also write a matlab code for the a diagonally dominant matrix to check the a matrix whether it is diagonally dominant or not so thank you so much for watching my video please subscribe my channel scientific underscore math for more videos